What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. Today, I've got a vocabulary lesson for you. We're going to learn 10 expressions that contain the word bit. I hope that my channel name will help you remember them. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. First, we're going to look at some verbs. Number one, to do your bit. I like this verb very much and it means to do your share of a task and to contribute to something. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, we should all do our bit to slow down global warming. We should all do our bit to slow down global warming. And one more example, let's do our bit and plant a tree. Let's do our bit and plant a tree. And now let's move on to our second verb, to be in bits. It's British and it means to be very sad or worried. And now a few examples. The first one, Lara was in bits when she found out that she had failed her exam. Lara was in bits when she found out that she had failed her exam. And one more example, she was in bits when her husband left her. She was in bits when her husband left her. Number three, we've got an idiom to get the bit between your teeth. It's British and it means to become very enthusiastic about doing something and you are unlikely to stop until you have finished. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Jane's got the bit between her teeth and there is no going back. She is determined to create a startup. Jane's got the bit between her teeth and there is no going back. She is determined to create a startup. I like the expression, there is no going back. It means that you have decided to do something and no one will stop you. There is no going back. And one more example, Richard got the bit between his teeth with his new business venture. Richard got the bit between his teeth with his new business venture. A business venture is an exciting project that involves the risk of failure. Number four, we've got an adjective, to be thrilled to bits, or we can also say to be chuffed to bits. It's not negative, it's the opposite, it's something positive, and it means to be extremely pleased and happy. And now, two examples. The first one, I was thrilled to bits when I found out that I had passed my proficiency exam. I was thrilled to bits when I found out that I had passed my proficiency exam. Number two, I'm chuffed to bits with the arrival of spring. I'm chuffed to bits with the arrival of spring. And one bonus example, I'm chuffed to bits with my new hair products. I'm chuffed to bits with my new hair products. Number five, we've got a very funny expression, bits and bobs. It's also British and it means a lot of small things and items of different kinds. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, what have you bought in IKEA? Nothing to write home about, just a few bits and bobs. What have you bought in IKEA? Nothing to write home about, just a few bits and bobs. Here we've got a very interesting idiom that I like a lot, nothing to write home about. It means not very exciting or special. For example, how was your date? nothing to write home about. 
and one more example, what are your plans for today? Nothing special, just some bits and bobs. What are your plans for today? Nothing special, just some bits and bobs. And guys, before we continue and learn five more expressions, just a tiny reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson, our expression number six, a bit too much. It means too extreme and not reasonable. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, it's a bit too much to ask me to write a composition for you. It's a bit too much to ask me to write a composition for you. And one more example, the movie Tenet was a bit too much for me to take in. The movie Tenet was a bit too much for me to take in. The phrasal verb to take in something means to understand the meaning of something. Number seven, a very nice expression, bit by bit. It means gradually, step by step, or one step at a time. And now a few examples. The first one, she's getting over her breakup bit by bit. She's getting over her breakup bit by bit. And one more example, your English is improving bit by bit. Your English is improving bit by bit. Number eight, one of my favorites, not a bit. It means not in any way, not at all. And now two examples. I don't regret a bit what I said. I don't regret a bit what I said. I'm a very straightforward person. And one more example. Are you getting tired of making one weekly video? Not a bit. Are you getting tired of making one weekly video? Not a bit. To more to go, number nine, every bit as good or as bad as someone or something else. It means that something is just as good or as bad as someone or something else. And now two examples. The first one, her new series is every bit as good as the previous one. Her new series is every bit as good as the previous one. And one more example, his current job is every bit as bad as the former one. His current job is every bit as bad as the former one. And last but not least, a super beautiful expression, I love you to bits, which means I love you very much. An example sentence, I love my students to bits. Thank you for always being there, watching my videos and supporting this channel. I love you to bits. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for having watched this video up to the very end. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please let me know in the comments below so that I can make a new edition with more expressions that contain the word bit. There are many more. And guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram and do my daily quiz. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!